fork for fish and chips on a park bench. Get out of it. Let's get your hands dirty. Right, it's that time of day. Now I've been here before, about a year ago, maybe longer, on the other channel. And it was really cheap fish and chips. And really good, let me tell you. So I'm in the area, I'm in East London, and I thought, let's see if they're still reasonable. Might, be, might have changed hands, I don't know. But let's find out. Well, they are the Ferrari and bikes, aren't they? Right, the same as last time, there's nowhere inside the chip shop to eat. So if I remember rightly, it was waning last time I went and I had the bike. But um, I've got my uh, chili cutlery. That's the, uh, the name of them. Bit of a plug there. Not sponsored. No one sponsors me. So, we've got cotton chips. They didn't have rock, or didn't have any um, fresh rock. So, I said, right, I'll have cod. This is gonna be quite difficult to show you and film it. <laughs> But we're going to persevere and we'll be all right. Just worried about the camera blowing over. I think I'm going to do this in one take, which I never, ever, ever, ever do. But I think I'm going to have to and then just edit it the best I can. There's the chips, look. They're great chips. Do you know what? What do I want a fork for? Get your hands dirty. That's what I say. Fork for fish and chips on a park bench. Get out of it. Let's get your hands dirty. And I've got something to tell you a bit later on, which will blow your mind. There's the cod. The size of that. Look at that. That's not bad, is it? That is proper white flaky fish. Mm. Oh, that's good. Proper chips. Right, it's going to be a lot of your uh, size of that. Let's say the skin on, yeah, it is. But look at the meat in that fish. 
and the skin helps the flavour, let me tell you. And the skin, you think of a fag paper, cigarette paper, thinner than thinner than that. So I don't worry about it. <laughs> that is you're probably thinking, why am I going so nuts over a piece of chips? And it's takeaway. Well, I did tell you that later on, I'll tell you why. And I love it when it all gets stuck like that. Wow. Put some music on. I don't want to hear me munching. Always come prepared. Oop. Yeah. Let's go for it. Um, oh my hair. When it's not windy, it's great, my hair. Fringe is about here. <laughs> I'm trying to make out I've got hair when I haven't really. But um, fish and chips, right. I did say I've got something to tell you later. And here it is. That cod was £7.30 with chips, it's a tenner in London, that good and it was that good, that was proper meaty flaky cod, yes the skin was on and if someone said to me would you rather the skin on or off, maybe I'd say off but it does, it does give it that tinge more flavour, I think, leaving the skin on. And like I said, it's way for thin, you don't even realise it. But that was a lump of cod. Um, I don't know how else to describe it, really. Really tasty. It's not quite as strong as haddock. Um, I was going to go for the rock, but do you know what? I'm not disappointed. That was great fish and chips for a tenner. That's after um, what happened in 2020. You know what happened. So prices have gone up 
cost of living, everything. And here we are, East London, tenner. I'll put the full address on the end. There's an eye missing in fish. Was that deliberately? So, because there's a joke about that, isn't there? <laughs> if you don't know it, it's funny. Um, guys, I'm going to get back on Daisy and go home now and do some editing. I've got a few to do now. So, if you enjoy the content and get value from the videos, subscribe it, like it, and don't forget to share it. That's the, that's the important thing. If you get value from the videos, share it with people that you love, your friends, family, your next door neighbors, everyone. Thanks guys, see you on the next one. So here's the joke. What do you call a fish with no eye? Anyway, moving on. I just wanted to have a quick word with, with uh, the guy that's, he's the son of the owner. And uh, he remembers me from last time. And you know what? They got best, best East London fish and chip shop last year. How about that? So, you know, you don't, you don't need me to tell you. People are voting for this place that it was the best last year. So who knows? They might do it again this year. But it's a little little shop. The eyes are missing in fish. Who cares? When they're serving up quality food like that, get yourself in there.